We've packed 5 glitch and distortion presets for Adobe Premiere Pro, which you can start using right now. Now everyone with Adobe Premiere, CS6 or above can use these presets. So without further ado, let's see how we can use them inside Premiere. This tutorial is sponsored by Rocket Stocks Corruption, a premium pack of 120 distortion elements which are fully compatible with Premiere Pro. You'll find three distinct styles, analog, digital and sci-fi distortions in 4K resolution. Plus, you'll get 20 glitchy sound effects as well. Get corrupted now and hit that link in the description below. Damn it. Jordy here for Cinecom.net and welcome to the creative filmmaking and post-production tutorial channel. We're inside Adobe Premiere Pro and I'd like to show you guys how you can use Error, our glitch distortion pack. Now if you download this file, you can find a link to it in the description below, you'll find this little file right here. It's a preset file and this we can import inside Premiere Pro. And let me show you how you can do that. From the tab Effects in Premiere, right click on the Presets folder and just say Import Presets. Then locate that preset file and press Open. And that's it. Inside that Presets folder, you'll then find the Error, Glitch and Distortion pack. And right in here, you will find five little presets, which you can very easily drag and drop onto your clips. It's that simple. Let me just go quickly through these glitch presets and show you what they can do. First of all, we've got a block distortion. Just drag that preset onto any clip that you would like. This one looks pretty awesome, as you can see. Then the next one is a horizontal pull, which kind of looks like a TV distortion. Pretty awesome as well. Next, we've got the shaker, which totally shakes your video like this. The Ford glitch effect is a time glitch, which is pretty cool as well. Definitely for moving shots like these basketball players right here as it's going back and forwards. And finally, we've got the total chaos. Now, this is definitely my favorite. Now, let's say that you would like to add these glitch effects to a specific area in your shot. So, let's say right here when the basketball player is going to bounce his ball on the ground. What you then best do is take your razor blade tool here from the toolbox and just cut that piece out of your clip. Let's say this part right here. And now you can drag any of these presets to that specific part of your clip and only show that glitch effect in that specific area. Now, something else that is also pretty cool is uh, adding a transition from one clip to another. So I'm going to go back to my project panel right here because I've got a second clip here as well. I'm going to place that next to the first clip. It's where another basketball player is catching the ball. And I kind of want to do like this distortion transition between these two clips. Now, unfortunately, some effects that were used in these presets don't work on an adjustment layer. So there you have your first limitation. And it's uh, basically because of a bug within Premiere. Apparently the bug was already there inside CS6, but Adobe never really cared to kind of fix that. So that's the distortion within Adobe. Anyways, the best way to add this transition over two clips is to back take your razor blade tool and you want to make the selection of how long that that transition has to take. So let's say start right here and end right here. And what you then want to do is select these two parts, right click onto them and say nest. Give that any name, for example, transition and press OK. And now you've got kind of these two parts bundled within that nest sequence. And now you can add any kind of glitch presets here from our pack onto that nested sequence. And that way you have an awesome glitch transition between two clips. So it's that simple. Again, you can find a download link in the description below. They're all free to use even for commercial projects and also CS6 users can enjoy these presets. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay creative.